Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty popular application known as Photoshop Express, available for free in the Android market. Uh, let's go ahead and start it up really quick. Obviously it's made by Adobe. Uh, Photoshop is a very well-known image editing software, uh, you know, used by graphic designers and web developers. Um, and when you first start the program up, it'll load all of your personal pictures, obviously. You can see here that I'm a huge Texas fan. I actually attended Colt McCoy's uh, Jersey retirement. Um, and here down at the bottom, we're looking at images I took uh, during and after the Big Android barbecue. Uh, and as you can see, there's some images that are a little dark, need a little bit of touching up, and so I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Um, right off the bat, you can tell it's a little dark, it's off-center. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this bad boy can do. Um, there is no multi-touch here, obviously. It's not needed, necessarily. Um, this is not meant to replace your you know, PC or Mac version of your Photoshop. This is just something you can use on the go. So I just click the Menu button, go to Edit Photo, and right off the bat, I can tell you that it's going to need uh, some increase in the exposure just because it's very dark. So let's go ahead and bring it up to 50 or so. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, it also needs increased saturation just to bring out uh, the colors. I wouldn't say go past 15 or so. And again, this will be different on every image. So let me just say 15 for me. Uh, open it back up again. And I'm going to cl click contrast this time, but let me just note that the Options are exposure, saturation, tint, black and white, contrast, and brightness. So this time around, I'm going to alter the contrast just a little bit. Let's see here. And, and I'm simply adjusting these by swiping my finger from left to right. Um, this one seems to need around 100. Okay. Uh, some of the other options to do is soft focus. Um, effects and borders, which I'm not really going to mess with that. And finally, this is the universal crop uh, icon. And of course, it lets you crop, straighten, rotate, and flip. I just need a crop because the image is off-center. I don't know what we were thinking when we took it. And I want it to be more of a square. So this allows you full freedom no matter what you want to do. I just want us in the picture, nothing else. Uh, so I'm going to click OK. If I'm ready to save the image, there's an icon here down at the bottom. Uh, some of the other things to note is if you want to go ahead and cancel what you're doing or rotate it left, rotate it right. But I am ready to save, so let's go ahead and click on that. Image is saving, and it's good to note that it always saves a copy of uh, the original. So now I'm going to go into the regular Android gallery. I'm going to open it up, and it'll be the very first one. I've obviously done it before, so here's the first one I edited. Here's the second. I'm going to click on the one we just did. And as you can see, uh, it retains some of, the, some of the detail there. Now you can easily read Texas Instruments, scroll down to his belt buckle. It retains some of the uh, details in the belt buckle. And let's just compare it to the original image here before we end, just to see how powerful of a tool this is to have on the go. Here's the original one, very dark. Um, let me zoom in. Here we go. It's not that you can't read Texas Instruments, it's just that it's very dark, you know, a very shadowed picture. Uh, the sun was behind us, so obviously this was natural. Texas also, we gained some of the uh, detail around the belt buckle here. Uh, all in all, this is a great application to keep on you. It's free. It's a very known brand, you know, Photoshop by Adobe. Um, and I honestly think it's great. You should have it on your phone. Uh, this has been Christian from the Android Wave, and we will see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.